Representative Paul Gosar tweets photoshopped anime video showing him killing Representative Ocasio-Cortez and attacking, attacking President Biden. He killed her in the anime. <laughs> in the anime, he killed our favorite big titty Latina. We can't let this stand, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hate speech. By the way, somebody rightly pointed out on Twitter. Somebody rightly pointed out on Twitter, what about when Kathy Griffin was holding Trump's head that was severed? By the way, everybody went in on her, but there was a, there were quite a few who said, oh, she's just being Kathy Griffin. Now I realize, okay, their retort would be, well, he's an, <laughs> he's an elected official, which I mean, okay, point taken. But still, we've fallen so far now. Is there really any difference? There's not. I don't know. Whatever. You're whatever, whatever. Maybe if, you're, maybe if you're president, maybe you'd have an argument. Definitely not a House member. What the fuck? They're a joke. <laughs> no offense to Gosar. He's not a joke. But we've seen some cornball motherfuckers in the House of Representatives, right? Like, this is not... Come on. Wait, he's desecrating the House of Representatives? That was done long ago. A lot long. Very long ago. <laughs> All right, now let's actually read some of this. <clears throat> This just came out a couple hours ago. <laughs> I read the headline. Representative Paul Gosar. It hurts a little bit to laugh. <laughs> Representative Paul Gosar tweeted a photoshopped animated video that depicts him killing Representative <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and swinging two swords. <laughs> wow. He swung two swords at President Biden, prompting condemnation and calls for his condemnation. Excuse me and calls for his Twitter account to be suspended. Gosar has long drawn criticism for his extremist views, including his spreading of conspiracy theories about the January 6th attack on the Capitol by pro-Trump mob, a pro-Trump mob, and the deadly white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. In February, he appeared at an event whose organizer called for white supremacy. Gosar later distanced himself from the organizer's remarks. The congressman's Sunday... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think that that was, was that a, uh, is that an FPAC reference there? The FPAC? Uh, yeah, it was. Then he, then he hung out with Fuentes later. Yeah, okay. Uh, the congressman's Sunday night tweet appeared to go further than his previous controversial remarks and social media posts, raising the specter of political violence in a manner similar to former President Donald Trump's frequent allusions to armed revolution. Any anime fans out there? Gosar said in the tweet, which he shared a link <laughs> in which he shared a link to the video. The 90-second clip appears to be a photoshopped version of the opening credits of the Japanese animated series Attack on Titan. The show revolves around a hero who sets out to destroy the Titans, which are giant creatures that have devoured nearly all of human civilization. In recent years, internet users have turned the show's opening credits into a popular meme. In the video Gosar sent out, the congressman is depicted fighting the Titans alongside representatives Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert. In one scene, Ocasio-Cortez's face is photoshopped over one of the Titans' faces. Gosar flies into the air and slashes the Titan in the back of the neck, killing it. In another scene, Gosar swings two swords at a foe whose face has been replaced by that of Joe Biden. The animated scene... <laughs> <clears throat> the animated scenes of the video are interspersed with real-life footage of U.S. Customs and Border Patrol officers, some standing shoulder-to-shoulder shoulder and others on horseback, rounding up migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border. In one scene, footage of migrants crossing the Rio Grande <laughs> is overlaid with what appears to be splattered blood. In another, the words drugs, crime, poverty, money, murder, gangs, violence, and trafficking flash across the screen. The video also shows shots of Gosar, the capital, and migrant caravans. Representative Eric Swalwell criticized Gosar in a tweet. Wasn't that was that the dude that was fucking the Chinese spa for like? Isn't that him? And they ducked out in disgrace. Did he have a Chinese spa? And he ducked out in disgrace from the presidential uh, contest because he sucked. That little Chinese pocket pussy on the side isn't isn't that him? Am I recalling correctly? I just want to make somebody in chat confirm. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. It wasn't. I mean, you know, not necessarily anything wrong with that that kind of goal, having a little Chinese pocket pussy on the side. I mean, I, it's she was a spy, though. That was the problem. That was the big problem. 
That was the major malfunction, though. She was a spy. All right. <clears throat> Bet the pussy was good, though. We don't know that for a fact. He hasn't really commented on that. Uh, he criticized Ghost Star. Happy Monday in America, where GOP leader McCarthy's colleague just posted a video of himself swinging two, <laughs> swinging two swords at President Biden. He posted a video of himself swinging two swords. Okay. <laughs> He's got to go. <clears throat> These bloodthirsty losers are more comfortable with violence than voting. Keep exposing them. Scores of Twitter users also flag Gosar's tweets tweet as a potential violation of the social media services rules. Oh, Casio didn't comment. Nobody else commented. Well, we know that it was deemed a violation in between that article's publishing and this show going live because this wasn't on there, I don't think, earlier uh, when I pulled this tweet up. Uh, but it is now... <laughs> Actually, I know it wasn't because I remember the tweet count. Now it's all gone, uh, the numbers count. This tweet violated the Twitter rules about hateful conduct. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. More cornball shit. Speaking of cornball shit. Okay, okay. Just show it. Fuck. Like it went away. Oh, my God. And it didn't even go away. You just left it up. <sighs> Of course he didn't make it. Yeah, exactly. Somebody showed him a video and was like, oh, it's funny. I'll oh, put that out. It's not even, oh, my God. He swung two swords. It's a fucking cartoon. Maybe, I don't know. These people are ridiculous. It really is insane. All right. Also, killstream.live slash entropy, killstream.live slash tip, dollar sign sunset squad over on Cash App. We also have TTS. It's in the Russian. You have to change it. If you haven't changed it already, just go down the bottom. It's very simple. And there's a little thing where you can change it to English. Uh, also, killstream.tv. I talked about this on Twitter. It's not ready yet. And nobody's going to be charged. There's a freeze on, on people's billing. I'm hoping. I talked to him today. And again, I was hoping this would be, hey, yeah. Next step, later this week, we're opening this bitch back up. That's not what they said. Um, and it's going to take some more time. And I, you know, again, I could have pulled the plug. I'm basically, we're going to see what happens on this delay. If, if something can't, I don't want to pull the plug. The reason is this, uh, killstream.tv was pretty badass when it was working, uh, and was a lot better than a lot of other people's subscription services, just flat out truth. Uh, and I really liked when it was going well, <laughs> and I would like to get back to that period, um, so they're telling me, you know, it's going to be some more weeks and again, nobody's going to be charged. So you don't have to worry about that. If you do get charged, I'll send out an email by the way, with some more of this stuff. If some, something slips through and you do just email them, they'll give you your refund. Again, nobody's sadder about this than me. I think you probably could tell the sound of my voice. Uh, it's not fun times, but I didn't even the car wreck. I didn't forget about all that. I talked to him today, so it sucks. Um, and what do we, well, I'll tell you what I've told you about it. They keep attacking the site. It's not a fucking secret. They hacked into the fucking site, uh, in late August and fucking took it down and they've been fucking with it ever since. I mean, it's not a fucking secret. <laughs> Mercury says, what are we not being told? That's what, there's nothing you can, you've been told if you read the fucking emails uh, and you heard me speak. Uh, so yeah, it's not a fun subject, but yeah, you have fucking been told. So anyway, you're being told again now, uh, and I'm hoping it'll be up in a couple weeks, but, uh, I, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Um, again, if it was anything else, I probably would have just said fuck it and started working on gum road or some shit like that. Um, but I liked what we had there. So, uh, I'm going to, you know, give them some more time to do it and nobody's getting charged anyway. So I don't know. Now, if we end up not going forward with them, I talked to them about that today um, they are going to prorate people's refunds and stuff like that. They'll go through and see, um, you know, if you had four months already or whatever. So for the yearly people listening to this, um, uh, yes, you're, you'll still get your money back if we don't go forward. Now my plan is still to go forward, but it just hasn't happened yet. And so I don't want to sit here and act like it has, you know, and talk like, Oh, you know, everything's hunky dory and start talking about plans because we had to get the service back up first uh and it's not so i talked to him about that as well uh oh hello fake sargon let me go ahead and show you the door by the way i think they added tools for mods to be able to delete comments too now uh based on my recommendation 
uh, last week, which was pretty based, I have to say. Thank you, Odyssey. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's what happened um, there. Um, and, again, another thing is I don't want to rush it back. I'm not going to say, oh, just put up whatever, like, you know, oh, it's half-assed or whatever. You know, you don't want to go back to um, – there's no need to launch it if it's not fucking, uh, you know, 100% right. You know what I mean? If it's not going to be right, then okay, just we'll refund the yearly pay chats or whatever and move on uh, and try to do something else. But, again, I talked to him today. They said it's going to be some time. So that's the update. I'll send out a longer email, but I wanted to make sure that I talked about it uh, very full-throatedly uh, here on the show because I was hoping I would be able to come back and say, yeah. Actually, I wanted to come back last week during those big debates. Um, and then I had a call scheduled on Saturday. A little something happened on Saturday. I got my ass fucking smacked. Yesterday, she was off work because it's Sunday, and then I talked to him today. So that's how come I got the update today, and I'll send out the email. Um, there's really nothing you have to do. Um, oh, there was a fake email sent out over the weekend too. That was not me. Um, and that's actually what made me think about this. <laughs> so I was going to, I was going to send out the email after the show, but I started thinking about the fake email and in the fake email, they had mentioned cozy.tv, which I kind of, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod, uh, not nodded about, uh, on Twitter last week. And I think I talked about it a little bit on the show at the end of the show on Friday. It seems like I did. Um, but I am going to do some stuff on cozy, but that has nothing to do, um, <laughs> that has nothing to do with killstream.tv. I'm going to be doing, like, I don't know, side projects and games and stuff over there. Uh, I'm not moving the killstream off Odyssey or Tequila Sunrise or any of that either. Um, so just going to be involved with Cozy a little bit uh, on the side. Um, and maybe some side projects. I thought about maybe interviewing some America First people over there, doing some stuff like that. Just some stuff I kicked around in my own head. Um, so I may do some stuff like that. Um, but that's... We're not, I'm not leaving Odyssey, and I'm not dropping Killstream.tv. So I'm also not able to tell you it's back up yet either. That's the unfortunate part. But that's the update. No, that email was fake. I got The only reason I wasn't able to send out another one is because I didn't have my PC with me, and I couldn't fucking uh, get it to send on my phone. So I will send out a longer one today. Um, it was a pretty authentic looking one, though. I, I, ha I have to give him credit on the last one because I actually read the fake email. Um and I was like, that was pretty good. They even signed off with, like, host of the kill stream underneath. Like, I had been writing on my own. I guess I'm just going to have to get the PGP key. Somebody was shaming me on on Twitter. They're like, dude, why don't you have a PGP, PGP key in your in your email? I was like, I don't mean, I don't know. I'm fucking lazy podcast. What the fuck? I need a PGP. I didn't know I was under attack, you know, for fucking. I had to sign all my emails like a fucking you know, actual journalist or a spy or some shit like that. Um, but that's what it's coming to. So I'll probably have a PGP key on the email that you see when I get that sent out. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll say this. It'll, it, it teaches you some things, too. Um, and, you know, they the car crash hasn't killed me. Attacks on killstream.tv hasn't killed me. Um, the show's still here. Everything's still going. So um, I have, you know, baby on the way. Uh, beautiful fiance. So I got a lot to be thankful for, even in the midst of what has been a fucking, just no doubt, hellacious hellstorm for like the whole fucking year. I mean, I can't even portray anything else. It's been fucking insane with one, just one massive fucking bomb after the other uh, going off, but I'm still here. Uh, also, what was I going to say? Oh, Bryson Gray is going to be on the show tomorrow. Uh, shout out to him. I don't have the rest of the week booked uh, because I almost got killed. <laughs> but I will try to get some people booked um, for the for the rest of the week and see if I can get some people to to jump in here uh, and start planning out the rest of the month. Hopefully, some news on Nick Fuentes and Dave Smith uh, soon as well. And some oh man, I'm gonna check. I wonder if Mark messaged me. And I gotta check back in with him. Oh, I see. Is that Captain on Telegram? What the fuck? It says Cap joined Telegram. Whoa. All right, I'll check in with Mark, too. I'm going to try. Maybe I can get him on this Friday because I was going to try to get him on, like, as, on a regular show and also to do the Destiny thing. Um, so I'll see if I can get if I can get Mark maybe for Friday and then also get some days and we can get this Destiny debate, hopefully, 
done before the new year. I would really like that as well. Bryson is a great guest. Yeah, I like him a lot. He's a really, people say the word based. He's actually based. Um, and just goes on all kinds of, he's had a lot of mainstream, you know, mainstream conservative attention basically uh, in the last uh, week or two. And I saw him on Candace Owens show. I think he was on Fox, it seems like. Um, <laughs> Daily Wire had features with this guy. Uh, you know, and, and he's uh, still going back to the kill stream because he's that type of dude. Like, it'd be easy to say, oh, yeah. Ryan Long, that's another guy like that. Um, you know, I, I saw him going to the improv. Uh, I think it's uh, later this month. It seems like I saw Masterson tweeting about it. Um, that's another guy, you know. No, oh, yeah, you want me on the kill stream? Sure, let me find it. Let me find a time. Yeah, good. I'm good. Um, just all time legends. When you, I mean, once you get to a certain level, you really don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> and I mean, you can leave your old your old associates behind, and it happens all the time. Uh, and you know, there's two different schools of thought. You, you can't even necessarily take umbrage with it, right? I mean, because once you get to a certain league. You know, once motherfuckers get to the NBA, they don't go back down and play in the, in the high school. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, so I do understand that mindset for sure. Uh, but man, you know, you, you always gotta at least for me, it always uh, stands out when somebody uh, takes the, takes the opposite track. So uh, shout out to Bryson and to Ryan Long as I connected there with that story. Also, I'm trying to see. Uh, I may have to go down and get some water. Holy shit! I got a little. I got a little bit extra over here. Kiosk Man says, Tommy Sotomayor versus Tariq Blood Sports. Make it happen. Tariq, man, keeps blackballing me. He's met, He's got me blocked. From, I can't even talk. Sh I can't really talk shit because I do that too. But I've got. he's got me blocked from for some shit like I don't even know how many years ago. I don't even remember what it was. It was something goofy. I don't even know. But um, you know what? <sighs> Dylon owes me one. Maybe I'll ask him. He wants me to talk to Make the Alaska. He wants to be maced on the kill stream in Los Angeles. Do you guys remember that? He wants. He still want me to follow up on that and talk to Baked and get him to agree to it so that we can mace him on the show, um, and then all is forgiven. Now we'll have to drop some kind of and you know. Where we're not liable if anything happens, this crazy motherfucker. Uh, Chaggett, that's who we're talking about. He wants to be maced in Los Angeles on the kill stream. Um, so maybe, <laughs> maybe we can uh, we can figure that out and get in touch with. He knows Tariq, believe it or not. Um, so we'll see. He was bugging me last week. I fucking completely forgot about it until it got mentioned there. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Uh, let me see here. Make sure I haven't missed anything. All right, I think we're good. Oh, yes. There she is. Thank you so much. The water has arrived. Shout out to May again. Very glad she wasn't with me. I almost took her with me too, but you know, I probably wouldn't have tried that turn. If she'd have been with me anyway, but still, um, it's good that she wasn't. Uh, sh what should we do, man? I'm sitting here. I got a bunch of stories. I could go into. You know what? Let's do the before we because we're probably gonna watch the Red House thing for a good bit, and I know a lot of people have seen it already. But uh, we're gonna go uh, a little bit into this guy's testimony here. Gage <laughs> Gage Gross. Let's. This guy's a real retard, by the way, and. Did they ever decide? So, again, I was following through Twitter, and I had to come back from Maryland today, and it was like three and a, I don't even know, three and a half hours drive down fucking 95 with the way the traffic was. We had to stop and get my stuff and all that. Did they ever decide if they were going to let him show the, the tweets where he was, like, tweeting at Pasovic and all these other people? Because um, I was half, like, plugged in on Twitter and I saw, I think they stopped. Didn't they stop the proceedings when they were about to show those? I don't know if they showed those or not. Uh, 1984 says, never mace, <laughs> mace certain folks, even if they ask for it. It's a ploy. You know what? I started thinking about that, too. We'll have to have, uh, they showed one, somebody said. Uh, let's see. Never mace. Yeah. I don't know. I thought about that, though, that maybe he was trying to... Uh, they get me sent up the river. They showed the one you retweeted. 
I think they showed one and then they stopped, right? Or do they? Sh- or is that the only one they're going to show? We're about to watch them anyway, so. Where's the one? Let me try to find the one I retweeted. This <laughs> dude. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That was just the other day, by the way. So he, he went on Twitter and said, and he said in this video, hold on, let me find it. Dude, we showed this the other day, by the way. We just showed this not that long ago. Hold on. Because when we were going through some, remember we were watching all this material before the trial? And I was like, okay. And people were, some people were like, why are you watching this propaganda show? Okay, well, I'll tell you why. Because of shit like this. All right, now let's watch this. I'm going to play it again. It's only two minutes. New attend the Illinois team.